Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the CEO vest. To clarify, this includes the black, tan and green ones. I'm also going to be showing you how to put them on other tops or outfits such as the ones that you saw in the thumbnail. If you want a shout out in the next video, then make sure that you leave a like and subscribe and also comment hashtag MLTD down in the comment section below. If we can get this video to 500 likes, then I'll also release a few more outfits. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated, but apart from that, let's just get on to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is head down to the nearest ammunition, and we're going to start browsing the gear section, which is located in the middle of the store. From here, we need to purchase one of the earpieces. After we've purchased one of those, we're then going to leave the ammunition, and we're going to head over to the nearest clothing store. Doing this glitch will remove all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing, so please do make sure that you're wearing your favourite outfit. For example, I'm going to be keeping this outfit because it has the camo pouches with the plate carrier on the service shirt. If you want to know how to do that, then there is a video link in the description to a tutorial I made. For now though, we're going to press start, go to online and go down to swap character. As you would expect, this will then bring you up to the character selection screen. Now your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it is in the second character slot, then this will not work for you. We're then going to go over to the second slot and we're going to start a new character. If you already have a character there, then you will need to delete it. If you can, copy your main character's rank over to this new character so that you don't have any issues buying anything. All you need to do here is make sure that your character is a female, then you're going to go down to save and continue, enter a name, take a photo, and that is it. Doing this will then load you into a GTA Online session, but first of all you're going to have to watch the Diamond, Casino and Resort cutscene. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any way around that. Firstly, we're going to press the start button and we're going to check if the clothing stores have spawned in on the map. If they haven't, then don't worry, we just need to find a new session. Before we do that, we're going to head into the casino which will trigger another cutscene. But once that is finished, we're then going to go and head over to the cashier. From here, we're going to be purchasing some chips and we're going to need about 10,100. After we have those purchased, we're then going to back out of there and head over to the clothing section of the casino. Okay, so we're now going to start browsing the pants section and we're going to go into the suit pants category. From here we're going to purchase the black vinyl wide pants which will turn into the desert camo knee pad cargoes on the male character. With those equipped, we're then going to make sure that we save this outfit in slot 1 and we're going to call this one Peach Camo CEO. Now we're going to press back and purchase the grey laser force wide pants. These will turn into the forest camo knee pad cargoes on the male which are the Flecton pants. We're going to save this in outfit slot 2 and we're going to call it Flecton CEO. Here is a list of which female pants will turn into which male pants. Simply just pick whichever ones you want to use and then we're going to head out of the casino. To fix the clothing store problem, press start, go to online and we're going to find a new session. This time though you'll now notice that the clothing stores have spawned in on the map. Ok so now that we have fixed that problem, we're just going to waypoint one of the clothing stores and we're going to head over to it. The first thing that we need to do is open up the interaction menu and we're going to go down to where it says style. From here we're going to go down to outfit and equip the first outfit, which was the peach one. Next we're going to go into the accessory section of the store, go into the earrings category and purchase the B and W deco earrings. We then need to back out of earrings and we're going to go into the gloves category to purchase the light woodland tactical. After purchasing those two items, we're then going to back out of accessories and we're going to head over to the top section. In order to get the combat shirt on a male character, we're going to go into the biker cuts category and purchase the peach camo denim cut. If you wanted a different camo pattern such as Flecton, then purchase the Flecton denim cut. We'll come back to that later on, but for now we're going to back out of biker cuts and we're going to go into the bikinis category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the orange bikini. Please make sure it's the orange one and not a different one. Ok, so we finished in the top section for now, so we're going to back out of there and head over to the shoe section. From here we're going to go into the sneakers category and we're going to purchase the pink plain high tops. These are just merge shoes and we'll be selecting which actual shoes we want on the male character later on. In the interaction menu, we're going to go into inventory and body armour and we're going to select the green heavy armour. This is what's going to allow us to put the CEO vest on top of the outfit. We're now going to save this and we're going to overwrite peach camo CEO. With that done, we're then going to reopen the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit and we're going to equip Flecton CEO. Now start browsing the shoe section again, go into sneakers and re-equip the pink plain high tops. Again we can decide the actual shoes later on. Next we then need to head back over to the top section and we're going to go back into the biker cuts category. 
We're going to purchase the Flecton denim cuts because again we want the Flecton combat shirt on the male and then we're going to go into the bikinis category. Go down to the bottom of the list and equip the orange bikini. Now back out of the top section and we're going to go over to the other side of the store to start browsing accessories. Same as before, we're going to go into earrings and purchase the B&W deco earrings. With those equipped, we're then going to go into the gloves category and re-equip the light woodland tactical. Just before we save it, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armor and equip the heavy armor. Again, this is what allows us to put the CEO vest on this outfit. Now just save the outfit and overwrite the one called Flecton CEO. With the two combat show outfits done, we're going to move on to the next one. Head back over to the top section, but this time we're going to go into the overcoats category. Go down to the bottom of the list and start scrolling up until we get to the teal open parka. If these jackets are closed for you then don't worry, all you need to do is back out, open the interaction menu and go to style and make sure that your jacket is set to open instead of closed. Moving on, we're going to go back into the top section, but this time we're going to go down into the t-shirts category. Again we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and you're going to scroll up a few until you get to the feud t-shirt. We have to use this t-shirt because the orange bikini is not compatible with the parka jackets. Okay so now that we are done in the top section, we're going to back out of there and head over to pants. From here we're going to go into the leggings category and we're going to purchase the grey sparse camo leggings. These will turn into the full camo cargo pants later on, so what we need to do now is go into the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armour and re-equip the heavy armour. We already have the shoes, gloves and earrings equipped from the last outfit, so we're now going to go and save this one in slot 3 as full CEO. For reference, the teal open parka is going to turn into the full bigness puffer jacket on the male. But that completes outfit number 3, so we're now ready to move on to the next one. In the pants section, we're going to go into the shorts category and purchase the black denims and stockings. These will turn into the black low crotch sports pants. After purchasing those, we're then going to back out of the pants section and head back over to tops. We're going to go back into the overcoats category, but we're going to scroll down a few and purchase the urban open parka. This will turn into the black longline hoodie. Forest open is the slate longline, urban patched is the grey longline, urban open is the black longline as we're using, and the forest patch is the ash longline. We already have the few t-shirt equipped from the previous outfit, so we're now going to back out of tops and head over to shoes. From here we're going to go into skate shoes and purchase the all black backside. These will turn into the black scruffy boots, but if you want you can also put the pink plain high tops if you just want to put any. As we've done a few times, open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armour and equip the heavy armour. After that's done, we're going to go back into the shoe section and we're going to save this in outfit slot 4 as B Longline CEO. Ok so we're now ready to move on to the next outfit, so we're going to go back into the sneakers category and purchase the pink plain high tops. We're going to back out of the shoe section and go back over to tops. This time though we're going to be going into the sports jackets category and we're going to head down to the bottom of the list. From here just scroll up and purchase the stylized Guffy Puffer. For this outfit we're not going to be using the few t-shirts, so we're going to back out of sports jackets and we're going to head down to bustiers. Also for those interested, the stylized Guffy Bigness Puffer is going to turn into the Woodland Camo Bigness t-shirt on the male. The G Guffy Puffer turns into the full t-shirt just in case you wanted a different camo pattern. Anyway, back to what we're doing, we're going to purchase the white lace bustier. It's now time to back out of tops and head over to the pants section. From here we're going to go into the leggings category and purchase the orange squash leggings which will turn into the brushstroke cargo pants. If you're going with the full t-shirt instead of the woodland one, then purchase the grey camo sparse leggings instead to get the full cargo pants. Anyway, once we've equipped the heavy armour from the interaction menu, we're then going to go and save this outfit into the next slot and we're going to call this one Woodland T CEO. Obviously, if you've made the full outfit instead, then call it Full T CEO. Okay, so we're now done with that one, so we're going to move on to the next one. Staying in the pants section, we're going to go down the list and go into the leather pants category. From here, we're going to purchase the black ribbed. This is going to be the deadline outfit, and these give the yellow deadline pants. Moving on, we're then going to head back over to the top section. From here, we're going to go back into biker cuts, but this time we're going to head down to the bottom of the list and start scrolling up. We're going to be purchasing the patched darted vest. This will turn into the yellow deadline top. Next we're then going to back out of biker cuts and go back into the bikinis category. From here we're going to purchase the orange bikini which is at the bottom of the list. You won't be able to see it but it is there. In the interaction menu just go into inventory, body armour and equip the heavy armour as we've done many times before. This is actually going to be a two part outfit. 
First we're going to need to save this one in the next slot and we're going to call this one Deadline Part 1 CEO. Part 2 of the outfit is going to be to get the yellow Deadline shoes, so we're going to head over to the shoe section. From here we're going to go into the boots category and scroll down until we get to the black slack boots. The reason that we can't have these on part 1 is because the boots need to be covered by the pants. So in order to do that we're going to back out of the shoe section and go over to pants. From here we're going to go into the sports pants category and purchase the spotted muscle pants which are merge pants. As you can see, these cover the boots. Equipping those pants will remove the body armour so you're going to need to go back into the interaction menu to equip it again. Once that's equipped, we're then going to go and save this in the next slot and we're going to call this one Deadline Part 2 CEO. I'll show you how that works later on. Moving on to the last female transfer item of the video, we're going to go into the jeans category. From here we're going to purchase the navy low crotch which turns into the black juggernaut pants. Next go into the shoe section, go into skate shoes and purchase the all black backside. We can't change the shoes of this outfit later on so it's very important that we put these on now which are the black scruffy boots. In the top section, we're going to go into the sports jackets category and start scrolling down. We're going to purchase the Vibrant Gradient Puffer. We already have the orange bikini equipped from the last outfit, so we're now going to back out of tops. So because we can't change anything about this outfit later on, we're going to need to head back over to accessories to remove the gloves. The red retro spacesuit top will come with its own gloves, so don't worry. Before we save it, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into inventory and body armour, and once again equip that heavy armour. Please do not forget that armour on any of the outfits, it has to be on all of them. Anyway, we're now going to browse accessories and save this outfit and we're going to call it Space Jug CEO. Okay, so as I'm about to show you, we still have a bunch of empty outfit slots. If you want transfer outfits like the gun belt or the plate carriers that can go onto any top or outfit, then click on the video link in the description and you can make those outfits now. Alternatively, I also have some more outfit transfer videos, so I'll also put that link down in the description if you want to do those. If you don't want any of those, then that is absolutely fine. We're now going to back out and leave the clothing store. So now that we have finished making the female transfer outfits, we need to initiate a force save. The easiest way to do that is to open up the interaction menu, go to style, go down to outfit and equip any of the outfits that we've made. When you close the menu, you'll then see the little orange circle in the bottom right which indicates that it is saving. Just to make sure, we're then going to open up the interaction menu and use the kill yourself option. Of course I decided to speed that up, but now we're going to press the start button, go to online and start up the creator. Thankfully this part of the process is much easier than it used to be. Ok so once the creator menu shows up, we're going to go down to create a race and then we're going to select tutorial. And that is pretty much all we have to do in the creator, we don't need to make a race or anything like that. So we're now going to press the start button or the P key if you're on PC and we're going to go over to the online tab. From here we're then going to select choose character. As it did the first time, this will then load up the character selection screen. At this point we're going to scroll over to the female character and we are going to delete it. Obviously, do not delete your male character. When the characters are back on screen, do not select a character, instead you're going to look at the bottom right and press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. That is then going to take you up into the clouds and it will eventually put you into single player. When you're able to, press start, go to online, play GTA online and press go. When you spawn in, you'll be on your male character and you'll be wearing your favourite outfit that you wanted to save from the start of the video. Go to the outfit section of a clothing store and go into outfit saved. You should notice that the female outfits that we have made have now transferred over to our male outfit slots. In the rare event that they didn't transfer, then that means that your force save didn't work and you're going to need to go and make another female character and repeat the process. Also, make sure that you save your favourite outfit before we continue. Ok so I'm now going to show you how to get the CEO vest so that we can transfer them over to the outfits. We're going to start off with the black vest and then I'll show you how to get the tan or green one. Waypoint this race on your map, now if you can't see this race then you're going to need to open up your interaction menu and go into hide options. From here go into jobs and make sure it's set to custom instead of hide and you need to make sure that land race is set to show. After doing that the race should then show up on your map so we're now going to head over to it. Now we're going to reopen the interaction menu, go into secure serve and we're going to register as a VIP or a CEO. Go into management and style and scroll along until you get to the outfit called El Jefe to have the black vest. We now need to close the interaction menu, walk into the ring and start the race. When the race does eventually load up, you don't need to do anything special apart from confirm the settings and launch the job on your own. After the job launches and the selection screen comes up, you're just going to change your vehicle once and then you're going to back out of the mission. 
This will then load you back down into the free mode session and you're going to need to sprint into the clothing store as fast as you can and start browsing. After a while it will then automatically kick you out of the browsing screen and you'll be wearing the CEO outfit. In order to save it we need to open up the interaction menu, go into secure serve and retire. Once you retire you'll then notice that you still have the outfit on. You'll probably realise pretty quickly that you cannot customise this outfit so don't try to. Instead what we're going to do is save this outfit. I would recommend that you save it somewhere in the middle of your saved outfits and call it something like Black CEO Base. That way you can easily distinguish it from the CEO Merge outfits. Just before we get into merging I'm now going to show you how to get the tan or green vests. To do this you're going to need a friend to invite you to their organisation and you're also going to need to be in a high end apartment. Once you have joined the organisation, tell your friend to go into management and style and start switching the outfits until you get the one that you want. If I remember correctly, the one with the tan vest is called arms dealer. Your friend can then switch through the associate outfits to change from the tan vest to the green one. Next you need to go into the bathroom and stand in the shower. Your friend needs to stay outside of the bathroom so don't let them come in. The timing of this next part is crucial, as soon as you start taking a shower, your friend needs to dismiss you from the CEO organisation. I would recommend that you have some kind of vocal communication to do this as it will make it much easier. You then need to stop showering and when your character exits the shower you will still have the outfit on. Next you can go into the wardrobe in your apartment or to the nearest clothing store and save this in another outfit slot. After it has been saved you can then go back and do the glitch again to get the other coloured vest. Personally I prefer the ones with the pouches but you can also get the pouchless versions if you prefer. Anyway once you have the vest outfit saved you're then going to need to equip the one that you want to start with. For instance I'm going to start with the tan one but I will show you the other ones later on. Now press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and start up the mission called crooked cop. When the settings screen loads you're going to need to go down to where it says clothing and make sure it's set to player owned, that is very important. Then you just need to confirm the settings and invite someone. You can use the auto invite feature like I'm doing here if you just want to get a random person or you can invite a friend. Alternatively, if you want someone to do this with a couple times, I would recommend joining my Discord, the invite link is in the description, and you can find someone to help you there. When someone eventually joins, you're then going to launch the session which will then take you to the outfit selection screen. Go down to owned outfit and start pressing right on the d-pad to scroll through. The CEO vest that you are wearing when you started up the mission will then transfer over to the other outfits. If you scroll through all of the outfits and back again like I did, then you might notice that you now have a black patch on the combat shirt. To fix it, just go back to current and then when you press right on the d-pad again, the patch will no longer be there. When it loads, open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left on gear to equip the earpiece. Then bring up your phone and quit the job. When you load into the online session, you'll notice that you still have the outfit on, so we're now going to need to head down to the nearest clothing store. You're then free to change things like the boots and the gloves and you can add things like hats, glasses or masks. However, do not change the pants or the top as it will remove the vest. Then just go and save the outfit when you're happy with it and then we're going to move on to transferring another one. So just open up your interaction menu, go to style and outfit and then equip one of the vests that you want. For example I'm now going to move on to the black vest. I'm going to speed through it this time because we've already seen it but we're now going to start up Crooked Cop and invite someone. Make sure the clothing is set to player owned and when you get to the outfit screen you're going to go back down to owned outfit and start pressing right. I'm now going to do the woodland tea outfit because I will need to delete the merge outfit after this. The reason for that is because I don't want the collar transferring from this outfit over to the deadline outfit. Anyway so once the mission starts just open up your interaction menu, go into style and accessories and equip the earpiece and then quit the job through the phone. Same as before, you'll then spawn into a free mode session and you'll still be wearing the outfit. You can then add your gloves, hats, masks and stuff like that but once you've done it just make sure that you save the outfit. After it's been saved in a different slot I'm then going to delete the Woodland TCEO merge outfit. With that done, I'm then just going to head back into Crooked Cop to make the Deadline outfit. To do that, go down to Owned Outfit and scroll along to Deadline Part 1 CEO. This will equip the top and the pants. You then need to scroll along one more to Part 2 and that will then equip the shoes. When you load in, just open up the interaction menu, go into Style and Accessories and equip that earpiece, then quit the job from the phone. You then spawn into the free mode session with the outfit still on. As I said before, you can then put your gloves, hats and masks on and then save the outfit when you're ready. After it's been saved you can then go and delete the merge outfits which are Deadline Part 1 CEO and Deadline Part 2 CEO. I've now gone and transferred the rest of the vest to my outfits and customised them a little so I'll just show you what they look like. Of course if you want to then you can copy these outfits exactly. However if you have your own ideas for the hats, masks and glasses then feel free to do that too. 
These are simply just some examples just to show you what the outfits could look like. Of course some of the mask, hat and glasses combinations will require the telescope glitch which I am going to show you in a second. Getting the helmet, mask and tube on the space juggernaut suit is a little bit more complicated so I will also explain that one separately. The reason I say that is because if you try to equip anything on the space juggernaut suit as is, it will just disappear. Unfortunately, it seems these are the only tops that I've found that the CEO vest is compatible with. If you happen to know of any others, then please do let me know in the comment section below, but for now we're going to get onto the telescope glitch. To begin, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and go down to masks. When you have the mask that you want, you're then going to close the interaction menu, sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. The mask will disappear and you won't look into the telescope. In the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and go down to hats and equip the hat that you want. Optionally, you can also add some glasses. When you walk away from the telescope, the mask will then reappear but you're still wearing the hat and the glasses. You're then free to go down to a clothing store and save it. Next, I'm going to get onto the space juggernaut combination. In the alpha section, we're going to go into the flight suit category and purchase the black flight suit. Next, we're then going to save this in a random outfit slot and call it something like mask or hat. When that's done, we're then going to head down to the mask store at Vespucci Beach and start browsing the mask section. From here, we're then going to go into the gas category and you can purchase your desired mask. For this outfit, I decided to go for the skull gas mask, but you can use a different one if you want. We're then going to go back over to the telescopes at Del Piro Pier, sprint towards it at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. The mask will then disappear and you should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope. At this point we're going to go into the interaction menu and go into style. Now go down to outfit and equip the flight suit one that we just saved. When you walk away from the telescope you'll then notice that the mask has spawned into the flight suit helmet. To get it on the space juggernaut suit we're going to need to repeat the telescope glitch. So sprint towards it at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. This time the helmet and the mask will disappear. Now just go back into the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit and equip the space juggernaut outfit. When you walk away, the helmet and the mask will then reappear. In order to get the flight suit tube on the front of the outfit, we're going to need to head down to an ammunition. Before we do anything else though, just make sure that you save the outfit. With it saved, we're then going to press back, go back into flight suits and you're going to equip the black flight suit. We're then going to leave the ammunition and head down to the Vanilla Unicorn Strip Club. When you walk inside, you'll notice that the flight suit tube has now disappeared from the front of the outfit. In the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit and equip the space juggernaut once again. When you walk outside, you'll then notice that the flight suit tube has now appeared on the front of this outfit. We now need to go over to the clothing store on the other side of the road, but do not get into a car. You have to either run there or use a motorbike. When you arrive, just go and browse something and make sure that you save this outfit for the last time, but just before we finish up, I'm going to go through a problem that you will face with this outfit. If you switch outfit and switch back, you might notice that the flight suit tube is not there. Just equip the outfit again and it will reappear. So that pretty much sums it up guys, if you have any questions or you need any help then please do let me know in the comment section below or join the discord. Again if you want a shout out in the next video then leave a like on the video, make sure that you subscribe and also leave hashtag MLTD in the comment section below. If we hit the like goal that I set at the start of the video then I will release some more outfits for you guys. As I said at the start you can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated if you want to see some exclusive content. Massive thanks to X Synthetic and Dragon Warrior from the Discord for helping me out with this one. But apart from that, that is pretty much it, so thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.